Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. US 30 there had a fantastic day, bullish engulfing pattern, finishing towards the top end of its range, hitting potential resistance at 78.95, pausing for breath. This is the third time it's hit that level in the last uh, eight or nine sessions. And the question is, is today going to be that day? US economy looking good, other economies, the, gil the gap is widening, some might say. Um, but this is a very strong uh, technical move that we've had right here. But until we actually close above 17.895, we don't have that technical breakout. Um, but we do have non-farm payrolls on Friday. Uh, we do have some more PMI data from the Eurozone in the UK. Um, ADP private payrolls today will be interesting. That's at 1.15 UK time. And then you've got US PMI data. Uh, and that, that could be something that could help. Um, push the US 30 and SPX 500 that little bit higher and be aware that today is crude oil Wednesday so you've got the, um, the petroleum uh, crude oil net change uh, result we'll come back to that in a second when we cover uh, crude oil West Texas so you can see the big move we had there in the FTSE a little bit more positive momentum again today uh, but we are approaching potential resistance at 67.71 um, Technicals are obviously a little bit irrelevant at this stage because they're all massively over um, overbought. Um, but we don't have that break and close below that. This this level here is going to be the pivot. We break and close above that, then we can rechallenge um, all-time highs close to 6,900. Moving on to Japan 225. Well, as dollar yen continues to move um, into the 119 territory, um, you can see we had a, a decent technical breakout yesterday. A little bit of a reversal today, so this is currently a doji formation, but we still have um, all of the European and US sessions still to come. The next potential resistance is at 18.306. Dollar yen looks like it's got good momentum, and with the US data coming out today, the PMI data, um, we might get that, that break up to 120, uh, and that ADB private payroll as well. So we're not a million miles away from there right now if we have a look at dollar yen. We're 119 spot 20 just now. Uh, we have actually been that little bit higher, so we're at 119 uh, spot 47 was the, was the high there. We're on the right side of potential broken resistance now, expected to act as support at 118 or 119. Um, so yeah, um, that is that American data today could be that that extra catalyst. In fact, you can see that GBP USD annual dollar are also on the back foot. The greenback strength is uh, is rampant right across the board at the moment, um, as that lower crude oil prices is a real a real stimulant for the U.S. economy, uh, effectively a, a, a taxation on uh, on the particular global economy, and that taxation has dropped quite significantly. You can see that um, already the candle for the week is incredibly volatile. Let's switch on to the daily interval. Uh, now we would have had a little bit of a bounce yesterday, so this was a, a hammer for you know, this was actually a, a Monday. We had a hammer formation, more of a retreat yesterday, or a bit of a further retreat today. It's probably looking like it's only a matter of time before sixty-four dollars uh, is in play again, and um, the next potential resistance below that is around about fifty-nine fifty. So crude elementaries today could be interesting to see if we're going to get. A little bit of a, of a reduction in what's in storage. Uh, if there is, we could get a little bit of a bounce. We are effectively trading in between two ranges right now. So 70 spot 41 is the potential resistance and 64 is the potential support. So gold, uh, gold obviously had a stellar day there on Monday, uh, reversed its fortunes yesterday, up a little bit today. We're in the middle of two ranges, 1218 and 1186. Interest rates uh, are very sensitive, uh, gold's very sensitive to interest rates, sorry, uh, and the US dollar. And the US dollar is gaining strength, and as economic data comes out better than expected, uh, i.e., that, that PMI data today and the other bits of US data that are due out, the ADP private payrolls, that's going to add pressure. If non farm payrolls on Friday comes in very, very good, that's going to add pressure. So just be aware of that if you're currently trading uh, long on gold, depending on your view on how those announcements are going to come out, of course. Finishing up with Euro Dollar and GBP USD. Euro Dollar is at potential support one spot twenty three sixty seven. Next potential support is one spot twenty forty seven. We've not had the technical break yet, but obviously the fundamentals are quite skewed to the US dollar. Uh, Eurozone is still talking about uh, rate cuts, and uh, the PMI data is from yesterday, uh, from Monday. Sorry, were uh, nothing super special to be honest. 
so the pressure remains on there. Looking at GBPUSD, similar story. One spot 55.93 is a potential support. The next potential support is one spot 54.24. We've not had that technical break yet. I think Euro dollar looks a little more interesting, to be honest. And obviously, GBP yeah, uh, dollar yen is interesting because you've got that pivot level right here at 118 or 119. That's an interesting point to be aware of. And obviously, with uh, with Euro dollar, uh, it is 123.67. Um, so we know what's coming up today. Let's fast forward on to tomorrow. You can see we've got UK housing uh, index data. You've got UK interest rates. That's not going to be a change. You've got employment change figures uh, on Thursday. And then obviously Friday, you've got non-farm payrolls. So that's going to be quite a big day. Make sure you've got all your alerts and alarms set for that one. Um, make the chart forum uh, part of your layout. Keep an eye on these technical setups from our global analyst team. And remember, Insights has uh, got lots of updates as well from that same team. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.